Welcome to the NSIC Student Athlete Advisory Committee Spotlight. I'm your host, Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner for Media Relations at the NSIC. This fall, we will spotlight an NSIC fall sports student athlete from each of our 16 institutions. And this week, we are joined by Concordia St. Paul's Kayla Renwick. Kayla, thanks for joining us on the spotlight. Thanks for having me. All right, as we do every week, let's start off with you telling us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so um, my name is Kayla. I go to Concordia. Um, I am a senior this year and I play soccer. Um, I'm from Cedar Rapids, Iowa originally. And um, I guess I'm a bio major. I think that kind of covers everything important. Okay. All right, you are also a member of the Student Athlete Advisor Committee at Concordia St. Paul. Uh, tell us how you became involved in that and what your initiatives have been for this fall. Okay, so this is my third year as a part of CSP SAC. Um, I originally wanted to be, uh, join SAC because I wanted to like help give my um, team at Concordia um, a voice around um, campus. Um, and then some of the initiatives that we've done so far this semester include um, Green Bandana, we've done voter registration and participation activities. And then um, Thanksgiving appreciation stuff through social media, and then um, diversity and inclusion campaigns. So COVID has affected everyone differently. How has it most affected you as a student athlete at Concordia? So this would have been my senior year. So um, it was a bit of a bummer finding out that we no longer get that last season that we were kind of counting on as like our last go around type deal. Um, so that's just been kind of hard to like know that like I don't get that like kind of like way of wrapping up uh, my soccer career that's been like so much of my life for so long um, but at the same time like it's been okay because we've still been able to practice so kind of that's, so obviously okay. unfortunate that you're not able to come back for your the, for uh, the fall of 2021 um, like we said the cancellation of fall championships you were still uh, able to practice this fall uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, your practice structure and just how you're trying to keep your team and yourself positive. Yeah, so um, we were able to practice three times a week um, and then we would lift um, twice a week. So it ended up being relatively, like we'd stay relatively busy and we were still like around like the team and stuff um, all the time. And then when we were outside, we were able to actually practice as a whole team. So that was super nice. Um, and like made it feel like a little bit more normal since we were still able to see everybody and kind of scrimmage here and there and all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, the, I guess the biggest thing that we've, the, like my team has kind of been doing to try and stay positive is just like um, really trying to be there for each other and like send like constantly like check in and just see how like different teammates are doing and all of that good stuff. Uh, you mentioned Cedar Rapids, Iowa, uh, where you grew up. Uh, what was it that drew you to Concordia St. Paul? Um, so I, when I was looking for colleges, I knew that I wanted to go to a small school. So then I found um, that CSP was a relatively small school in like a bigger city area. So I really liked that about it. And then when I came to campus, I kind of just like fell in love with the campus and the people and um, the science department seemed like a, like they had good programs for um what I wanted to go into. So it just, it seemed like everything kind of fell into place and fit and I've loved being here. Uh, so you did get three years of uh, competition in the NSIC. What are some of the best attributes of the NSIC and playing in NCAA Division II? Um, actually, one of the reasons that I kind of picked Concordia too is because of how competitive the NSIC is. Um, I really liked that um, the schools are semi-close I mean obviously there's some that are um, a little bit further away but there's also a good chunk that are like a little bit closer so like traveling isn't quite as daunting as it could be um, and then like I said like the like it's super competitive like you go into games and we're not sure who's like supposed to win so it's it's like you're constantly having to be like ready to play and it's not just like any games are given or like sure. too difficult Sure. So like we mentioned before, this should have been your season, uh, senior season um, and you're not able to return next year. But uh, biology major, what are ultimately your plans for the future? Um, I am actually planning to take a gap year next year and then I want to go into PT. So I'll be applying to grad schools and 
crossing my fingers that I get in after that gap year. Um, yeah, I just want to be able to complete that. All right, PT. Uh, this is one of my favorite questions to ask. Uh, any hidden talents or something people may not know about you? Okay, so it's not exactly a hidden talent, but both of my thumbs are super bendy. So, like, instead of being, like, the normal, like, straight, it, they go really far back. Um, I don't wow, know. Okay. Kind of interesting. <laughs> Outstanding. We've, we've had some good hidden talents. That's one of them up there. <laughs> bendy <laughs> thumbs. <laughs> All right. Before we let you go, we do a little thing called rapid fire questions. Are you ready to answer these? Yes. All right, uh, do you have any pre-game rituals? Um, I'm actually very particular about how I fold my pre-wrap. So every pre-game I have to rip off a new headband and then fold it just right, tie it, and then like that's what I wear for the game. All so. right, uh, most use social media app? Um, Instagram. Uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hopefully with a solid job and oh, it would be great to own a house at that point, but that might be a little lofty. All right. Uh, any particular place you'd want to live? I'm going off script here. Oh, East, uh, West Coast. Sorry, wrong word first. West, West, West Coast. Coast? West Coast. Yep. All right. Uh, who has influenced you the most in your time at Concordia? Not exactly a specific person, but I would say all of my teammates that I've had throughout the years have all impacted me a lot in different ways. Uh, if you didn't play soccer at Concordia, is there another sport that you would compete in? I have actually never played hockey, but I've always really wanted to learn how to play. I think it looks like a really fun, fun sport. All right. That makes sense. Very similar sport. Um, your favorite TV show? TV show, Criminal Minds. Uh, favorite SAC activity or initiative? Um, we do a uh, Make-A-Wish talent show, uh, usually at the end of the year. And that's always super fun to watch all the different athletes show off their talents. Excellent. Uh, favorite movie? Um, I'd have to go with one of the Avengers movies. Can't really pick one. Those are good. I, I really enjoy those as well. Um, I would go Civil War. That's one of my Civil top War. ones. That's yeah. up there. Um, favorite movie. Uh, best sports memory in which you were competing? Um, last year, we actually won conference. So I think the, the, the game winner goal there, I didn't personally score it, but it was super fun to be a part of um, the team and on the field like, as that was happening. Yep, that was a great run by the Golden Bears last year. Um, and last question for you is, um, in just a few words, what advice would you give yourself back if you could when you entered college? Um, I think I would tell myself to uh, stay positive and like believe that things will work out in the end. Um, yeah, I was kind of a stressor, so knowing that would have helped. Staying positive, good, good advice to give. All right, well, Kayla, thank you for joining us today. Uh, that's gonna wrap up our NSIC SAC Spotlight. Uh, thank you for joining us and we'll see everyone next week.